In the rugged, windswept lands of ancient Denmark, there reigned a formidable Viking king named Harald Gormson. Known for his wisdom, charisma, and fierce determination, Harald held a peculiar nickname that would later transcend centuries, Bluetooth. The story behind his name began with a simple yet distinctive trait. King Harald possessed a discolored tooth, an eerie shade of blue. This striking feature earned him the affectionate nickname Bluetooth, a nod to the bluish hue of his tooth. But King Harald's legacy extended beyond the whimsy of his nickname. He was a unifier, a king who brought warring tribes and clans under his rule, much like the way a Bluetooth connection harmonizes disparate devices. During his reign in the 10th century, King Harald employed a combination of political alliances, strategic marriages, and military campaigns to unite the fractured tribes and clans of his realm. With a keen sense of diplomacy, he forged crucial alliances that transcended the long-standing feuds that had plagued the land. Yet it was not just political acumen that defined his reign. King Harald also sought to promote Christianity in his domain, seeing it as a unifying force. His commitment to spreading the Christian faith brought a semblance of religious unity to the region, further solidifying his legacy as a unifier. King Harald's dedication to fostering a sense of unity and stability laid the groundwork for the cultural and political cohesion that would shape the future of Denmark. His reign became a beacon of inspiration, symbolizing the power of leadership in bringing disparate elements together. Centuries later, in the late 20th century, a group of innovative engineers and developers sought to create a universal wireless communication standard. Among them was Jim Kardash, a visionary developer at Intel. He envisioned a world where various devices could seamlessly communicate with one another, transcending the limitations of competing technologies. It was during a conversation about history and the unification of devices that the name Bluetooth surfaced. Jim Kardash, inspired by King Harold's unifying legacy, suggested the name as a code name for the project. The name resonated with the team, capturing the essence of their mission. Bluetooth technology, like its Viking namesake, was meant to unite the disparate realms of computers, phones, and other devices. And this is how the legacy of Bluetooth continues to resonate in our modern world.